Aww, animals. Squirrel gets in the holiday mood by feasting on pricey chocolates. An American squirrel was caught on camera nabbing expensive chocolates and some lip balm from a Jersey family's porch. Every year, the Boudreaux family leaves out a holiday basket for delivery people on their doorstep. They stuff it with candy, snacks, tissues, hand warmers, and other treats. Michelle Boudreaux said they never had any issues until this year when she noticed the basket was raided shortly after she placed it outside. She said the thief was only taking the expensive treats, including 25 Ghirardelli chocolate squares. The family put up a hidden camera to see if they could catch the perpetrator in action. They were more than a little surprised to see it was actually a super chunky squirrel. Michelle then later actually ran into Chunk mid-heist and watched him clear out their chocolate yet again. Oh yeah, he also took a Carmex lip balm. The chocolate has now been placed in a jar, but Michelle still leaves out squirrel treats for Chunk too. Keep watching for more four-legged furry fun. Grandma mistakes a possum for one of her cats. An animal-loving grandmother from Kansas was found to have an opossum hanging out among her stray cats. Eric Hurtline's grandmother has a big heart, especially for our furry little friends. She has her enclosed porch decked out with beds and food. Her grandson Eric dropped by for a visit recently. When he went to check in on the cats, his kitty sense started tingling. Right there among the felines was an opossum chilling in one of the beds. When Hurtline asked his grandmother about the little dude, she said she had named him Tete and that he'd first come to her house when he was an orphaned baby looking for food. So naturally, she took the opossum in. Since then, he's been coming back for the grub and witty conversation. Eric's grandmother really thought Tete was just a cat at first, but when she finally did see it was an opossum, she said, Well, he hasn't bothered me yet, so I'm okay with him being here. Hey, if Granny says it's cool, it's cool. Hemingway's cats are doing just fine after the storm. All of the descendants of Ernest Hemingway's cats avoided a cat astrophy down in the Florida Keys and made it through Hurricane Irma with all toes intact. The 54 six and seven toed cats, along with 10 brave workers from the Ernest Hemingway Home and Museum in Key West, are all okay. As Irma approached last week, a full evacuation was issued for the Florida Keys. Jackie Sands, the general manager of the museum, ignored the order and stayed put. Sand said she felt she had an obligation to make sure the cats and the grounds made it through the hurricane. The cats must have known something was up and reportedly came inside once they sensed a drop in barometric pressure. The 18 inch thick limestone walls of the house helped a little too. In total, 10 employees stayed behind to help look after all the little fur balls during the storm. But now with the storm gone, things aren't perfect. They don't have power, water, or internet, but they do have generators, food, and medical supplies on site. Squirrel goes nuts on home intruder. A thief who broke into an Idaho home had the bejesus scared out of him after discovering a guard squirrel on the premises. Homeowner Adam Pearl felt something was off when he came home, and marks on his gun safe confirmed that someone had been messing around in his house. An officer came to investigate after Adam reported some small items missing and was startled to find that Pearl had a pet squirrel. The cops later apprehended the thief. While questioning him, the officer spotted what looked to be scratches on his hands. Turns out Joey the squirrel had gone full attack mode on the robber and didn't stop scratching, nibbling, and clawing until the bad guy fled. In the end, Pearl got his stuff back and Joey got treats for saving the day. Good squirrel. Heroic dog saves owner's life. 2017 started out horribly for one Michigan man who spent New Year's Day injured and helpless in the snow. Luckily, it was man's best friend to the rescue. At 10.30 p.m. on December 31st, Bob ran out to get another log for his fire when he slipped and fell on the ice, breaking his neck. Unable to move, he screamed for help, but with the nearest neighbor a quarter mile away, it was his golden retriever, Kelsey, that ran to his side. The temperature dipped to freezing, but Kelsey stayed by Bob, barking for help and licking his face and hands to keep him warm. The 64-year-old lost consciousness, but Kelsey's howling eventually got the attention of a neighbor who finally discovered Bob 20 hours later. He was rushed to the hospital where a doctor performed emergency surgery to save him. Now recovering nicely, Bob claims he owes his life to two heroes, his dog and his doctor.